Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Turnigy Evolution to the PC wirelessly. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something pretty interesting. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Turnigy Evolution to the PC wirelessly. Now you might say, why would I do such thing? Well, the USB on the Turnigy Evolution does have quite a bit of latency actually when you use it and when you play with it. Some might notice, some might not notice at all. However, today I'm going to be giving you a solution where you don't have to connect your Turnigy Evolution anymore to the PC and all you need is two components, a receiver which is compatible with the Turnigy Evolution and something called an FTDI adapter. However, I recommend you get the one that I am uh, using here. I'll leave a link to this down below. I'll leave an Amazon link as well as a Banggood link and they will be affiliated so you can go ahead and help support the channel. So this process is just insanely simple and all we need to do is to connect these two together and then connect it to the PC. Obviously, you have to make sure you're bound to your Turnigy Evolution or Flysky. This works both, Turnigy Evolution or Flysky. It doesn't matter as long as the Flysky Turnigy Evolution can connect to the receiver and the receiver is iBus compatible. That's all you need. So this works on both Flysky and Turnigy Evolution. And I've also had a previous video where I showed you how to do the exact same thing, but with an Arduino. And what I've noticed personally that the Arduino is faster than the FTDI adapter here. But you won't really, I don't think you'll notice the difference, just by 10 milliseconds or so. So I've done this video, and this previous video, I might have said Flysky, but it also works on the Turnigy Evolution. The only difference you got to do is just bind your receiver to the Turnigy Evolution, and that's it. So yeah, th it works with any receiver, as you could tell. If you had this one, you could go ahead and connect it to the uh, Arduino. Just same thing, three wires, positive, negative, and the iBus. So please follow along if you, uh, that video if you want to go ahead and use an Arduino for this tutorial. But today I'm going to be showing you how to do it with the FTDI adapter because some people just did not understand how to do it. So first things first, you need obviously a receiver which is iBus compatible and that is compatible with the Flysky or the Turnigy Evolution. However, today we're going to be using Turnigy Evolution and that's what we're going to start with. So first things first, now I've already have this bound to my controller and everything is totally fine. Now what you need to do is you need to find your iBus wire, ground and power. Okay, it's just that simple. And then you grab the FTDI adapter here and you can see that this one outputs three volts and five volts. You wanna make sure the jumper is on the five volt part. As you can tell, it says five volts right there. And then it says three volts right there. So just go ahead and set the jumper to the left, five volts, cause this is a five volt receiver here. And what you wanna do is we want to go ahead and find our IBUS wire. Now, if you have this transmitter, it, it'll clearly tell you right there that this is ground and that is IBUS. So obviously, obviously the middle one's gonna be power and the color coding is correct here. So let's go ahead and install this. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and find ground. So as you can tell, my ground is all the way on the right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and grab my black wire and you can go ahead and solder this on the other side if you want. As you can tell, there's also breakouts right here. These holes, you could also solder to those as well. So there, we have ground installed. Now, if we take a closer look, we need to find the RX pin on this guy. For me, it is the second second one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my iBus to the RX on the FTDI adapter here, okay? And now we need to find the five volt, which would be possibly called VCC. And here it's called VCC. And it is this pin right there for us. So we're gonna go ahead and install that right there. And like so, we are completely done. Now what this will do, this will power our receiver to uh, this will power the five volt to the receiver. So the receiver will be booted. All you gotta do is connect this to your PC now. All right guys, so the first thing we wanna do is uh, you wanna go ahead and go to the first link. It's called VJoy, I have it linked down below. So let's do this together this time. What you wanna do is you wanna go to this download button, ignore everything down here. You don't need that, just go to this one. It'll open a new page for us. And we just wait for the download to start. And go ahead, it'll start downloading here. And then what you want to do is run, save, or whatever, just run it. And now we're just going to run it here. And now it's asking me, do you want to allow changes? Yes. And you'll see the page come up now. All right. So you're going to be treated with something like this. Next, next, finish. And just wait for it. 
Now after it finishes I do highly recommend you reboot your PC just so you save yourself headache and some time because sometimes you know some PCs need a reboot every now and then and right now this is what it's doing it's just uh, installing the drivers VJoy successfully installed beautiful. Next thing you want to do is you want to go here and we're going to download the VJoy serial feeder here. However, this is compressed file, so you're just going to just uncompress it. If you don't know how to uncompress or unzip a file, just Google it. It's very simple. So once it's uncompressed, you will find a folder called VJoy Serial Feeder or whatever it is. And inside it, you'll see these three or these four files. Now, what you want to do is make sure you connect the FTDI with the receiver installed. And make sure your receiver is bound to the... Make sure your receiver is bound to the transmitter. Okay, so now my transmitter is on and the FTDI is connected as well as my receiver is connected. So once that's all done, you need to go to the VJoy serial feeder and then open it after everything is connected. So if everything went right, you should see VJoy instance one and you should see iBus. And you want to go to COM port and connect, cor choose the correct COM port. So my, mine's COM9 here. And you want to go ahead and click connect. Awesome. As you can tell, everything is working beautiful. As you can tell, there are connected 14 channels available, and here's the update rate. Now, I did notice that Arduino is a lot faster, but I mean, it's just by numbers here. I didn't really feel it. So, next thing you want to do once everything is connected, you want to add axes. All right, so that's great. So, it's channel one, the, the input is the x axis. So, I want to go ahead and just figure out which, which, which axis this is. Okay, this is my roll axis, but it really does not matter what it is. What you want to do now is you want to go ahead and add another axis. You want to change this to channel 2, and you want to go ahead and change this to Y. And then you want to go ahead and add another one, channel 3, and then you want to put it to Z axis. And then channel 4, and then you want to go ahead and go to the RX axis. Now I'm going to go ahead and move my throttle, so that's channel 3. It doesn't really matter what channel it is. Now I'm yawing, so it's channel 4. Now I'm going to roll. Let's see what happens. I'm rolling, and that's channel x channel one and now i'm gonna pitch that's channel two on y beautiful so what you want to do next you want to go here and let's just say turn a g turn a g and save you want to save this because you don't want to keep doing this every single time so go ahead and save it now you have to leave this open and you go ahead and open your simulator and everything will work Perfect. Now, if you don't know how to set up, like, for example, liftoff simulator, I'll leave a link down below where I did the Arduino part, and it's going to be the exact same thing. That's it. Your PC actually recognizes as a real controller connected to the PC, and you could play any game or uh, any simulator you want with, with these. If you wanted to add buttons, you can go ahead and add buttons from here. Make sure you also have the auxiliary output set up on the transmitter. For example, I really don't care about the buttons, so all, all you need is the first four channels. Those are the ones that really matter. So just leave this open, open your liftoff simulator, and you're good to go. And well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. In my previous video, I showed you how to go in there and just show you how everything works. Um, however, here, I'm just going to cut time and just kind of keep it short. If you are, you know, if you're very scared of these things, please make sure you purchase the same exact things that I'm using. I'll leave a link to everything down below. So everything will just be super compatible. And the next video will be showing you how to connect your FR Sky transmitter receiver wirelessly to the PC and play the games because uh, I have done that and it works absolutely perfect. And it's with the same exact uh, system here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, sh just give a huge shout out to Claire K for creating the software. This plugin is just uh, absolutely amazing. And um, if it wasn't for him, he's the one that coded everything. Uh, he's the one that did everything. I'm just here making tutorials on how to set this up. And uh, it works absolutely reliable. And I've just been playing liftoff like crazy lately because of the weather here. And it's just, it's it. I just plug it in and just play. So, like I mentioned, Arduino is faster than the FTDI, but, you know, I don't think you'll notice it that much. So, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I uh, want you to consider joining my Patreon, helping me document everything that I possibly can. Uh, you could also use affiliate links down there. Those greatly support the channel. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And wait for the next video. It'll be the FR Sky version. And I really hope I helped someone out there. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.